essentially the same thing again, but from the air. And then you get going into attack, I'll do two hits into the armor move. And then start this. And it's a bit less damage. And then do basically the same thing, but just starting with the tilt like two. And that gets a bit more damage, 9,800. Decided to block. Now if he wants to backdash after the second hit of the armor move, I'll just cancel it early. And then do it that way. So he's actually, see, it looks like he's done a um, sidestep now. So if I do two hits into this, guard break. Easy combo afterwards, just because they did a mess up. And here he's going to get a bit more than 10,011 and really get into his combos. So, a if you have no meter and don't want to use supports in your combos with Deku, you can do three hits into armor move, into tilt quirk two, into quirk one, and that's going to get you pretty decent damage for no dash cancels, and it's pretty easy as well, and it's quite an alarming amount of hits. For if you realize you want to spend meter partway through the combo, you can do that obviously after the, this, and then you do two hits of his. Oops, that didn't hit. After his quirk two, you do two hits of the quirk two, and then dash cancel, and then do essentially the same thing again, but from the air. And then you get 9,300 damage, which isn't max dam ma damage for one dash cancel. But if you're mid combo and then you realize, oh, I want to spend a dash cancel, then you can do it that way and you get some more damage, which is good. Okay, so now Deku has kind of two bread and butter combos that you can do using one dash cancel, and I showed them off before. You can either be two hits into the armor attack, then walk a little bit, and then three hits into the armor attack, and then go into the same air situation that you were doing before, that gets 9,600, or you can do one hit into this, oopsie, and then do basically the same thing, but just starting with the tilt like two, and that gets a bit more damage, 9,800. Um, I tend to, if I am doing it, I tend to use this one a bit more, even though it's a bit less damage, just because it's a bit easier to hit confirm, because his tilt quirk 2 is really unsafe on block, and unless I'm doing a punish that I know I can punish them with or something, um, I'm not going to go for this that often if I if there's a, even a small chance that they'll block, because if I do this on block, I'm going to get punished for it. So if I know that they've done something unsafe, I'll go in for this one to get the max damage. But a lot of the time, if I'm just going into attack, I'll do two hits into the armor move, and then start this. And it's a bit less damage, but yeah. Okay, um, now, shoot style Deku, he has some ways of, if the opponent recovers, which a lot of people do online, like most opponents you fight against are going to be mashing the recovery button. So. Uh, um, if you realize your opponent's doing recoveries, like, a lot, you can do two hits. Um, so once you, like, onto the end of your combo, just end in your quirk 2 string, and then just dash after them, and then, like, when they recover and try to do something in the air, or try and, like, land after recovering for some reason. Um, just... Oh, that's gonna be a little splat. Oh no. And you have to do a jump or else he has to, or else he'll land on the ground before he dash cancels. So yeah, it's just a um, neat way of ending your combos, getting some extended damage. He's not recovering very much, but Oh no, I don't want to be at the wall. And then you could especially if you're near a wall. This has been really good demonstrations here, thanks Mr. Old Berman. 
but yeah, a lot of the time you can catch people because they try and jump in the air and then dash towards you or do something. And so if you end your combos in this, even if you're not facing a wall, a lot of the time you can get a reset and go in for your whole air combo again and then get easy changing your your um, 1,700 damage to... Um, wait, what am I saying? Your 9,900 damage into like an easy 15,000. Okay, um, so yeah, combo-wise, from the air, you start in a similar way, you can put dash cancels in wherever you want, but you're essentially always going to be doing something like this, and obviously all of these combos are going to do a bit more damage than what I'm showing here, because if you have the opportunity, you can end at whatever it is early, into his quad 2 string, in order to get an easy wall splat. And I messed that up, because you're gonna get like 10,000 or something damage. I don't know what I'm doing, that was messed up. You see, you can get good damage with the wall splat, and you're often going to be able to get a wall splat because of his great quirk 2 string. Wall splats every time. Um, he can get a little bit more extended damage if you want to do 2 dash cancels. For example, if I go, I hit into this. Oops, my bad. Oh my god. Um, oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. What? How did that mess up? And here he's gonna get a bit more than 10,000, 11,000 damage for two dash cancels, which is pretty good. That's about average, above average damage. And yeah, so Shoot Style Deku, he's not a combo monster, but he has. he's always able to go into almost the same combos. Like, from whatever situation, so you can always be able to, you should always be able to confirm into a, a decent amount of damage from whatever kind of touch, in whatever situation. Um, I'll get into guard pressure with him in this part of the video as well, because it's really important to him. So, there is a gap in between the third hit of his attack string. It's, I mean, I, don't, I didn't even have to show it off. You can see that the opponent can attack or sidestep or do anything So after the second hit. They can try and dash out of the way. Though. But, it is surprisingly good at... Where is the sidestep button? Sorry. A dodge. Actually, not to guard it. And if I get the set first hit to miss... Oh my goodness. It has really good tracking, as you just saw there. Your opponent, if they try to sidestep this, you see, he's gonna track them and catch them, and you can, then you can go in for your full combo and do all that stuff all over again because you've managed... you tricked them into sidestepping, because a lot of people are mashing the sidestep button whenever you're doing a combo or anything, because that's just how this game works. Sidesteps are really good. But Deku can catch them with the third hit of his attack string, and obviously, when the third hit hits, he can go in for his combos and, and all that stuff. Like his combos with the completely meterless, or. and do a bunch of damage super easily just because the opponent decided to sidestep. Okay, so. Once you've gotten your opponent to respect the three hits of your attack string, you can cancel that into your armor move in the air, and then that is guaranteed, practically guaranteed as well. And then after the air attack string, there are some places where you can dash out of the way, but a lot of people don't exploit them. Like, in between the second and last hit, I think you can um, dash backwards, but no one does that. <laughs> And if they do, so yeah, so if they do sit, have the whole thing, cancel it into your tilt quirk 2 in the air, and then into your quirk 2 string, and then their guard is 100% going to be broken, and make sure you're paying attention so that you can get the full combo after it. So if I go like this, into the armor move, 
and then I could have dash cancelled and then gone in for full combos and stuff, just because he decided to block. Now if he wants to back dash after the second hit of the armor move, I'll just cancel it early. And then do it that way. So he's actually probably one of the most scary characters on block because there's just so many things he can do. Like even if... And so, um, I'll just mention the gap here, it, the only way it can be exploited is by attacking. So the opponent has to attack after the first hit of your attack, then obviously that leaves them open for, if I do two hits, into my armor move. So I'll do two hits into my armor move, into like any other crazy stuff, like the stuff I was showing before, into Tilt Quark 2, into the string, I can do two hits into the armor move, Tilt Quark 2, dash, 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 cancel, and do the whole thing all over again, and it's so crazy and ridiculous, like, even if you mess up and I'm like, for some reason you get this early, dash cancel, and if you put in random dash cancels at weird places, they're not going to know where to block, and there's just no way that they can, like, avoid it. He's really scary on block, guys. Like, if anyone decides to block you, that's, that's their death sentence. Like, he doesn't even have to use dash cancels. Like there, that was a clean guard break. And because of the stun from the guard break, I can go in for a full combo. Get easy damage. But yeah, really scary on block. And yeah, if they try to interrupt you, um... Uh, instead of doing the yellow attack here, you can actually go in for the projectile. And if they've been, if they've blocked anything of yours, or if they've maybe done a sidestep into a block, so they lose that like chunk of meter. You can see, um, I'm Deku. When I sidestep, I lose some of my guard meter. Wait, let me get rid of his. Uh, so yeah, if he's lost a bit, this projectile does so much guard pressure. They're instantly guard broken. And because it's just one attack, then you can get an easy follow-up afterwards. So, I'll just do an attack to emulate. So, see, it looks like he's done a, um, a sidestep now, so if I do two hits into this... Guard break. Easy combo afterwards, just because they did a sidestep into a block. This is guaranteed. There's no block or attack gap in this. And then, yeah, so you can either do two attacks into armor move into their follow-ups, um, three attacks into the armor move, which if they sidestep it'll catch them, or you can do two attacks into the projectile, which will attack, which will counter if they try to attack or sidestep. So he's really strong mix up some block, and if you're playing shoot style deck, you should be breaking their block every time if they ever are willing to block it. So even though he has kind of below average damage, he makes up for it for the fact that he's really oppressive on block and everything. Um, I'll just quickly go over his um, plus ultra. It's not that easy to combo into since his attacks leave him into the, uh, in the air a lot of the time, so usually you just do two hits or one hit into the tilt work two. Um, it does good damage on its own, just those two hits, but if you want you can combo out of it with supports. The supports that I like to use, the cannon ones, um, aren't really the best at extending. Mirio can do some stuff. He does like teleport upwards and bounce them, but you don't really get that much afterwards. But a lot of the time, unless, like, obviously, I'll use the plus ultra one if I just want to get a huge chunk of damage or like finish out the game. But a lot of the time with Deku, I actually like to save my meter since he can get all these good combos like super easily and like flashy stuff. That wasn't a good combo at all. But like, you know, with this thing, because this is totally free and he gets mix ups, like, if they recover, I finish in the quad 2 string. A lot of the time, I just try to save my meter go for other damaging ways of doing things so that, especially with this cannon team, I can either do my plus ultra 2 or just off of any touch if I see the opponent does anything, I touch them twice. Like, I can do anything into this if I do one hit or two hits into this, it's an instant 24,000 damage. So if you've touched your opponent even slightly previously in the game, if you've hit them with a projectile or hit them with like the slightest, tiniest combo from a guard break. If you touch them once more and you have the Team Plus Ultra, you're getting an instant 24,000 damage. And it can't be broken, so it's practically GG if 
some of you. So look at that. So the amount of life that they have left, I doubt that you're going to be hitting... Like, they're, they're never going to survive that. You've probably hit them a few times in the game. You don't just get your combo. Like, even if you just do this, like, for some reason, that, and then go into the plus ultra 3, then they're dead. It's just really strong, you want to make sure you save your meter, so that you can go for that... I'm gonna call it an insta-kill. You just do attack into the this, and then they're dead. Like, even if it's one attack, two attacks, a red attack, they're getting 24,000 damage, and it's ridiculous. And, anyways, guys, I think that is all that I have to talk about with Shu Style Deku. He is really fun. I, I have a lot of fun using him, especially since he's a bit more balanced than some of the other Dekus. He's really, I'd say probably the most broken thing about him is his block pressure. It's really amazing and really oppressive. His combos are okay, but what makes them really good is that you can do them off of any situation. He has good mix-ups, and he has good free damage. And yeah, he's just a really fun character, good all-rounder, and a good close-up character. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!